I feel that, you know, hip hop has this unique ability to uh, uh, affect humanity in a positive way. Certainly Agreed. this goes across the board and, and universal and worldwide, but most particularly and perhaps most importantly, you know, helping uplift the lives and livelihoods of communities of, you know, those from whence hip hop came. Now, 100%. So, like, but, but definitely across the board, it's one of those, you know, things. So without giving you too much of my preachiness, which you've already heard me say probably in the past, what is your interpretation? When I say hip hop could save America, tell me I'm right. Tell me I'm wrong. Tell me why. Tell me what you think of when you hear that phrase. Yeah. I mean, I think we're very much aligned and we recognize the transformative nature of the culture that we love so dearly, right? Like that's number one. I don't think there's anybody in the chat or watching this that doesn't believe that hip hop has this transformative power. So now that we've recognized the transformative power, it's transforming what? What are we right. transforming, right? Right. We're transforming ourselves first and foremost. I always say that hip hop is remix culture. When I introduce yes. the history of hip hop to young kids or even kids at the collegiate level, I say you need to understand that hip hop is remix culture. Grandmaster right. Cass said hip hop did not invent anything, it reinvented everything. So, as remix culture, what you are ultimately remixing by engaging in these elements is yourself. Mm. You are retrofitting yourself for the life that you are about to manifest and having the ability to articulate your desires, your intentions, and everything. Having the language to process your emotions gives you that ability to transform yourself. By transforming yourself, you can then transform the communities and the circumstances that you come from. Knowing that about hip hop, how do we then apply it across the board, right? How, I, often, often like, I also often like to say hip hop is the dream that Martin Luther King was talking about. Right. When he says, I have a dream and white little boys and girls can hang out with black boys and girls, you go to an everyday hip hop show and that's exactly what you see, right? right. right? Biggie said it was all a dream. Now, when you look at that, what is dead smack in the middle of their two generations is the creation of hip hop. Right. right. So that's the dream that I think we are talking about, where we move away from these egotistical concepts of identity that are rooted in race, that are rooted in class, that are rooted in, in economics or politics or religion. And you go to a hip hop show, you go to a hip hop jam, you go to an environment where it becomes about the music. It becomes about the vibration and you see people harmonious. It doesn't at, at that point. Right. No different than the Bronx in the 70s. It didn't matter if you was a savage nomad or part of the ghetto brothers. I was just watching Rebel Kings yesterday. Right. You came to experience the jam and you came to the jam under the auspices of peace, love, unity and having fun. Right. And if you didn't, you were doing it. You were coming to that jam to negotiate peace treaties with the people in the space. Right. right? If that can happen in the hoods of New York City, that can't happen on a, lo a global level. That can't happen on a national level. Like where we be ignorant to think otherwise. So we can recognize that it's, it's recognizing the ability, but then having the will to implement that. Wanting the, the having the desire to really want to change the world in the way that we see it change the world. Right. And I think that just hip hop provides the broad based principles that we can start agreeing on so that we're not all, you know, in argument. And I think that, right. We're in a climate now where everything is polarizing yeah. and it's fraudulently polarizing because people need engagement, likes, clicks, and clout. That's true. So you say hyperbolic things because you want somebody to disagree with you. Right. 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 It's where a hard it's like time you, for a diplomat. It's really hard. So, but <laughs> you can kind of move away from that and just say like, yo, can we at least agree like Biggie was a dope rapper? Okay, <laughs> cool. Can we at right. least agree like, you know what I'm saying, like <laughs> certain songs we can all vibrate to and chill and enjoy ourselves? Okay, right. cool. Let's start there. And right. from there, we can again align with broader based principles. Do you love your children? Yes, I love my children too. Right. We love children and we recognize the innocence of children. So yes. why don't we do things in our lives to make our lives of our children a lot better? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Like, and you can do that under these broad based principles that we find in hip hop. Yep.